All right, uh, I thought I would take a moment and explain uh, the inside parts of joystick. This is a standard joystick uh, for like flight simulator. And what I've done here is taken out all the wiring and be, I'll be using it for a flight simulator that I'm actually building. So simply you can see here's the hat switch that can be programmed used to be something else. You got a trigger, three different buttons and the two uh, smaller buttons, but again, all these can be mounted to something. You can reprogram them to control whatever you want. Uh, all of this stuff would plug into this card, which is again the card in the joystick. This is a USB wire, and you can see here are the uh, rotary switches. You can uh, create a knob, turn um, you know, your dials and whatnot. You might be able to, you know, create other functions that require a knob or some sort of uh, turning axis mechanism. A um, couple other there. So you could easily mount, you could create a throttle uh, quadrant based on these uh, rotary switches. Um, here is a, mo a USB model 2040. This is to interface a USB or a, a switch, like a toggle switch, to your computer via USB to control functions in the game. Um, has up to 21 switches. You can see here that I've mounted uh, some autopilot navigation buttons and here I needed to create a quarter second pulse um, so I've done that with the help of uh, some youtubers and a specific person that took time and drew out a diagram for me but with this uh, fun new function I now can have a toggle switch added to uh, flight simulator just as an FYI, if you get the model 2040, in order to use it as a switch, it only works with push button spring switches. A toggle switch hooked up to this, you have to flip twice to get it on, twice to get it off. So it's not up, down, it's up, down, up. For one, down, up, down turns it off. So that's what this whole circuit board does with uh, capacitors in this read relay. Well, hope this provides some good information for all you do-it-yourself simmers. This is probably the best way to go uh, to build your own switches. Get an old joystick, take it apart, salvage all the parts. You can easily cut the wires, solder them into panels, uh, hook them up to the board that's already there. Uh, it's definitely save you a lot of money in buying all this stuff. Uh, Desktop Aviator is a great uh, place to start off in getting some of the circuitry. Uh, well, I hope this was valuable. Oh, I did want to show, here is my rudder control unit. You can see that I just kind of, this is a crude prototype, but essentially I've mounted the uh, encoder, the rotary switch, into this. Now all I need to do is add pedals left, right, and this is now mountable. So just kind of experimenting for now, but uh, we'll soon have something. But it beats paying $150 for you know rudder controls and all that. So hope this was useful. Uh, thanks a lot. Have a great one.